Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Oh, crystal clear skies giving us plenty of sunshine this afternoon, but you can't see the wind and there's no signs of it here, but we've had a breeze. I'm looking to see if the camera's shaking. Not much. The camera's settling down now and uh, the winds are settling down. Clear skies will also promote a lot of rapid heat loss from the earth. There's no clouds acting as a blanket, and so a cold night is in store tonight as the cool air mass descends upon southwest and central Idaho. Chilly weather definitely headed in. Let's take a look at a view, not from the valley, but up uh, in the Long Valley, up in, uh, near McCall. No Notice how crystal clear, I keep saying crystal clear, well the water looks crystal clear, but certainly calm, very calm, and flat as a mirror here on the lake. So no wind here uh, through this afternoon. Had some high clouds, but those are clearing, and there's plenty of sunshine coming in. Look at this view right here of Haley. Beautiful fall colors coming in place now. Starting to get some great fall foliage pictures into our I Contribute, and I know there's a lot more. Uh, check your neighborhood, find the, the co most colorful trees you can and the most the scenic shots you've got, and send them on. On in, and we'll try to get that best fall foliage picture. You send them to iContribute at KIVITV.com, and we'll get them on the air for you. Beautiful view from Haley here up in the Highway 75. The orange colors are out, and fall means football weather. Let's jump all the way to this weekend. Nevada in town to face Boise at 6 o'clock in the evening. Sunset at 655, so you'll be tailgating in the sunshine. Kickoff will be in the sunshine with the clear skies out there, but then the sun goes down. The temperatures go from a high near 65 will be the high for the day, and then we'll go about four or five degrees cooler than that as we head towards kickoff at six o'clock and then it'll drop to the low 50s by the end of the game. So of course this time of year as you'd expect it will be chilly. It could be worse but I expect it to be very clear. I'll keep you updated just in case something changes but there's really nothing down the pike here for us as the storm system to the east is still wrapping moisture around towards the Magic Valley but skies are clear to the west and clearing line will continue to move on in and our temperatures now in the upper 50s are going to be dropping as well as the wind speeds here in the teens that will be dropping as the sun goes down and we'll start to see those winds settle down that'll allow the cool air to just drain into the valleys and frost is likely most places in the Treasure Valley as you move through the evening. Here's the cloud covering eastern portions of Idaho. Uh, some snow showers in the higher peaks but it's all beginning to fade away still snow flying in Wyoming. If you know anybody who's traveling towards Cheyenne there's a pretty good sized storm system out there. It's now in South Dakota wrapping around. Not as big as that last one. The places that get all the heavy snow in Rapid City, uh, as you can see, it is mostly rain. The green showing rain here. Heavy rain coming in. The storm system taking almost a very similar track to the last one, uh, but not as cold. Not as much cold air, so only snow in the higher elevations. But that's still drawing air into it, going from high pressure with this extra air to low pressure with this less air at the surface as it rises. That gives us a breeze, but high pressure will start settling on in. That's going to calm us down and cool us off. That'll allow the chilly temperatures to move in. But the afternoon warmer temperatures will start to move in as well. It's we'll to creep back up, getting above 60 degrees. But really, sunshine. This is tomorrow afternoon. Future cast shows nothing on Wednesday. A few clouds may drift on through, but really, that's about it. So, a pretty pleasant day, all things considered, during the day tomorrow with all that sunshine out there. And that dip in the jet stream where the real cold air mass is north of the jet is all to our east. And it's not moving very quickly, it's very slowly sliding to the east. Big storm system along the east coast. That's about it. But high pressure, dry, nice conditions. Central California valleys will be warming up nicely. Beautiful weather again along the west coast. The rain has shut on off. This temperature here in Ontario, 34. Emmett, 31 tomorrow morning. 32 in Boise. This will be about 32 in Weezer tomorrow morning, uh, but 35 degrees I think in Vail. High temperatures tomorrow getting up to near 60, so it'll be a beautiful afternoon with no wind. But boy, it'll be cold and frosty in the morning. 20s in Long Valley, 50s in the afternoon. About 58 degrees in Idaho City tomorrow with sunshine and beautiful fall colors up there in Boise County. 15 degrees in Stanley tomorrow morning, 28 in Sun Valley. So cold and frosty, very chilly conditions in those high elevations. Heading through the Magic Valley, temperatures in the 50s with frost around as well, but drier and lighter winds around as well. Let's take a look at that extended forecast. Plenty of sunshine, low temperatures in the 30s, high temperatures will slowly start to creep up with very light winds. We may get a breeze on Thursday, but light wind tomorrow and beautiful light winds over the weekend as well into the 60s, 60, 65 on Saturday, and that spells a beautiful weekend for football coming in. As you would expect this time of year, you want to get some nice color in the sky or in the trees, I should say, mm -hmm. with, against that blue sky there. And uh, dry conditions, high pressure, looking good. And it's okay to be dry this time of year. Uh, don't panic over the, the ski season. You want the end of October to bring the snow back in. Good weekend to go for a drive. Yeah, exactly. Up right. north. That's right. All right, thanks, Scott. Coming up next, thousands of federal workers anxious over the partial government shutdown. Up next, bickering on Capitol Hill means undue stress all across the country.